excited because this actually came a little bit sooner than my boxy charms have been coming. So I don't know, maybe they saw my video and saw that I got a broken palette and they were like, oh, she needs her box early. <laughs> no, I actually have not even gotten a hold of them yet to tell them that I have the broken palette. That shows just how much time I have. I know I need to tell them, but honestly, with a 2-4 and almost 6-year-old, I'm just like, I don't even care about the one eyeshadow, I'll fix it. That's probably like, they probably don't even get contacted half the time, so. All right, so I'm gonna make this just a quick unboxing video for you guys because I don't have like a ton of time, but I wanted you guys to get, of course, my first impression. Jeez, this thing does not wanna open. My first impression for the August Boxy Charm, because I wanna be able to get this up as soon as possible for you guys, since I feel like I'm always the last one to show like my reaction to unboxings. So again, they just sent this and on here, just so you guys know, there's a Smashbox code for 20% off. So if you like Smashbox, um, the code is BOXY20. And then um, Laura Lee, Los Angeles, 25% off your next order with it. It's an LLLA Charm 25. So if you guys want those coupons, go ahead and use them. Okay, oh, well this is why they did that Laura Lee because the first um, thing in here is, is this it? This is small. Okay, Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette. This is a normally a $19 eyeshadow palette, so this must be, must be, ugh, this must be kind of small. Super pretty though. Wow, this is cool. I'm impressed. It's like really bright colors and, um, Oh, I love that. Kind of like holographic lettering on here. So let us let me just see here. I think this is Issa Party. Issa Party. So that's the swatch of that one. It's kind of like a, a yellowy. I'm going to need a wipey for this. It's kind of like a yellowy green. And then we have Damage Control. This should be interesting when I go to do a Get Ready With Me because there's... There's only these bright colors, so I'm gonna have to do some sort of like rainbow look to try to, wow, that's really pretty. So this color is karaoke. Um, I can tell you the pigment seems actually really nice. So, act, and to be perfectly honest with you, $19 is not bad, you're getting six shadows, so this is not a terrible price, like I'm pretty impressed. That was drinks. I'm pretty impressed with, um, with this because these are some super pigmented bottoms up if you're liking these kind of colors you know normally when you're getting these this is hungover normally when you, when you're getting these in like singles um, you're paying a little bit more expensive like I want to say if you can if you get my singles on sale and I have colors that are similar to this if you can get them on sale, they're normally $6 each or $5 each if you bundle them. Um, so, and if you get them on sale when I do my 50% off sales, which I do quite often, then you can get them for as cheap as $2.50 each. So, I mean, for $19 for six of them, it's still a, a super good deal as a normal price. So, in a nice little palette. So, I actually like this. I'm impressed. And um, I already like this box just because of this. So, I like it. Let's move on to the next item. <laughs> okay, so the next one is by Becca. Oh, I just got excited and I thought I was gonna get a highlighter. Boo-hoo, it's a primer. That's okay, but I was super excited. I was thinking I was gonna get a Becca highlighter. I've been wanting a Becca highlighter and yeah, I feel let down right now. I should have read it all before, but you know, this is my first impression for you guys, so. Okay, this is the, oh, this is the Backlight Priming Filter. I've heard about this. First light priming filter, um, matte poreless priming perfector. So I've never used this before, but uh, I I want to say I've heard a couple YouTubers say that it's really good for pictures. So is this kind of like a, like the photo finish? I don't know. If you guys have used this before, let me know. This is normally, it says between $15 and $18. So I don't know if that depends on the day. I don't know or like if they have a sale or the size so it could be between 15 and 18 I'm I'm not a big primer person but if it's good for pictures I will this is something that I definitely would like 
for on the days that I'm like, especially if I'm promoting one of my makeup products, I would use that for my pictures. Okay, so the next one is Wander. This is Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. You guys, I still haven't even used my eye masks from the last, like, box that I have. I might end up just giving them to my mom if she wants to use them because I literally... I know I should use them, but I have so many just, like, face masks, so just to put an eye mask on, I don't know. All right, so I'm not, like, super excited but, about that, but it's okay because I'm excited about the eyeshadow palette and the primer, so it's okay that there's a couple eye masks in there I'm not excited about. If you're wondering and you like eye masks, those are usually $13. So, the next one is going to be Bang Beauty, and it says chocolate, chocolate eyeliner. It says use it as an eyeliner, an eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your brows. Creamy chocolate tone pomade is ultimate triple threat. Oh, okay, so this is just a pomade, basically. I don't even know why they call it an eyeliner, because this is by Bang Beauty, and I have not heard of them. Normally $22. So for me, just my opinion already on a pomade, I'm not going to pay $22 for one. One, I sell my eyebrow pomades for $12, so for me that's like $22, $10 more, I'm just not going to do it. But they do call it a gel eyeliner on the back. To be perfectly honest with you, it's brown. I'm never going to use a brown eyeliner. I really, really, really like the Pretty Vulgar Black gel eyeliner that I got. Like, that shit is amazing. So if you're looking for one, that's the one to go for. I just probably would not use this. So this might just get gifted to somebody as a pomade. Um, or I might start, like, kind of a giveaway pile. Um, because I'm not going to use it. So not impressed with that. But normally $22 if you like that brand. That is one to go for. So the... Why is it saying... Did I miss something? Oh, Smashbox. I missed Smashbox. Okay, so Smashbox says assorted lip products. So between 20 and 24. So I guess maybe everybody got something different. So I got Be Legendary Liquid Pigment. Of course I'm going to get a lip, li liquid lipstick, which is what I always complain that I get in every box. And I don't need any more of those. Like send me a lip gloss or a lip liner or something because I don't need any more damn lipsticks. If you got a Smashbox liner and you want to trade a lipstick, let me know. I'll send it your way. This is not a terrible color. This color is called Crush It. And I, I don't actually know if I have a color like this, so not terrible. I just wanted to know what Smashbox smelled like. I don't know if I've ever used their liquid lipstick. So definitely a pretty color. Is this matte? Does it say matte? It does not say matte, so I'm assuming it is not matte. A sheen. Oh, wait. Killer color with the sheen of gloss in seconds. So we hit blend and develop this liquid pigment that wows in a single coat. Optically plumps pout with depth of color. Okay. I'm not mad anymore. It's not a matte. I'll take it. it it's actually a gloss. That I'm okay with because I don't have a lot of glosses anyways. The color is a little dark for a gloss, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. Like... There's only so much you can complain about, and that's just not one of the things. So, and it looks like it's going to stain, too. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that's, like, the worst place to have a lipstick. Oh, my God, it's, like, more. It keeps getting everywhere. Oh, no. This is not going to come off. Oh, this is bad, you guys. Look at that. It looks like... I don't even want to say it. This is terrible. <sighs> Ooh, these eyeshadows are good, though. Okay, let me, I'll wipe this off afterwards. You guys don't have to watch it. So the last thing is NCLA, and it's so rich, lollipop, lollipop. Glam yourself head to cuticles before a night out with this vitamin E infused cuticle oil. It's a gentle rubber grip dropper, allows for the perfect dosage of oil application every time. Okay, um, this is normally $18, and I probably wouldn't go out and just buy cuticle oil for $18. Just my personal opinion, but... I'm not mad I got this because if you guys saw my last video about how I do my nails and that I do my own, this is like the perfect thing that I can use for after I'm done doing my nails just because after I filed them and everything, they're pretty rough looking. So I'm not going to be mad about this. This is going to go in my nail drawer and I'm definitely going to use it. However, my personal opinion, I would not pay $18 for cuticle oil, but that's probably because I already could go to a beauty supply because I have my cosmetology license and I can buy cuticle oil for like nothing so just my personal opinion 
however I will use it. So, I mean, to be honest with you, the only thing I'm really super excited about out of this box, I'm, I'm excited about the palette. I think it's a good deal. For me, I mean, I already have a lot of these colors close in my collection anyways. So like, like the purple, the blue, the pink, I already have those colors. However, like the orange and the yellow, those ones I don't have and I've been wanting a yellow eyeshadow. So I'm happy that I got this anyways and it's in a nice palette. Um, and then of course I do wanna try this primer. If I had to say something about the, this box in particular, it probably wouldn't apply to me as much. So this is probably my least favorite box I've got so far, but I'm still excited to try some of the stuff. So, and of course, as always, I'm gonna use all this stuff from this box in my next Get Ready With Me, um, just so we can check it out and kind of see how everything works, except for like the cuticle oil because I, I'm not gonna use that on camera. But everything else, I will do a look for you guys and you'll get to see, and then maybe I'll incorporate some old products that I've also gotten out of BoxyCharm that I still have and I like to use just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm still using from the box. And yeah, that's gonna be it, you guys. So if you like this unboxing, of course, give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments below on what you think about your box that you received. And if there's any other boxes that you super love, not ones that you just like, but anything else that you super love that you're like, it's a great deal and I've never been disappointed with it, send it over to me because right now I'm just subscribed to BoxyCharm and Ricky's Cult Crushes. And I'd like to incorporate like one more subscription box just to kind of show off. It doesn't have to be one that's like equal price to them. Um, I don't probably want anything that's any more than maybe like $25 a month uh, just because I feel like at that point you might as well just go buy whatever product you like unless you're getting three or four products in there that are amazing to make it worth the price. It's not worth it for me. So anything from like $25 down to I don't even know what the lowest box is. 10? So yeah. Anyways, let me know and of course I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!